Hi, my name is Lisa Anderson and I am Managing Director of Black Culture Archives and it's a real honour to have an opportunity to respond to one of my favourite pieces of work from one of my favourite artists, Claudette Johnson. This work is called I Came to Dance and I love everything about the title without even going into the actual work because it brings into conversation so much of what gives me power and a way of understanding my place in the world. Um, that visual arts geek who found first love with dance and performance. Um, from a young age, I studied tap, ballet, modern jazz before discovering other forms of dance that were more akin to black culture, African diasporic, hip hop. And it's through those moments on the dance floor that I was able to reconnect with my body, assert my own sense of agency, and work out some of the challenges that I was experiencing in my everyday life. And I feel that this is really represented beautifully through this work. She created this work in the 1980s, uh, in the early 1980s, which was a time of real resistance to challenges of racism experienced by the black community. As a young black artist, she was really working this out. And I think not only her identity as a black artist, but as a woman is really key to the ways in which she was trying to make sense of the world. So I really, I feel this work. I feel her working out, not only through the way in which she has represented the black female body, but also the way in which she has approached the creation, the process of this work. You feel the energy that went into creating this work. You can see how much work has been done on the paper itself. There's scratches and workings out in preparation to create this work. And then there's a real kind of, you can sense the movement and the sensuality of giving kind of volume and fluidity and presence to the body, the celebration of the black female body. Um, as a fellow thick, athletic woman, I really love seeing the beauty of that portrayed here. But another element that I really love is the multivocality in this work. It's drawing, but it also for me brings to life movement and music. She talks about using this jagged zigzag line here to evoke or have us think of her relationship to reggae and jazz, the syncopated rhythm of these music, and how that may affect the body in that through dance and through that, that bodily response that we have to music. And in all of that, I think she creates this really powerful new language, um, a very distinct language in drawing that I find really compelling and aligns with my connection to critical thinking and black feminist theory. For me, this is such a perfect work. Um, I find so much joy in it. 